This video contains urgent words of warning and judgment from the spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Jesus. Quote, to another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy. Unquote. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. The prophetic messages, words of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are given by the spirit of God. The rhema of the spirit are given just as we have received them. We offer no explanations, apologies, or interpretations, nor do we compel you, the listener, the reader, to agree or disagree. We have not changed them, adulterated them, or doctored them up. The rhema's of the spirit come to you just as they have come to us. Taken from our international radio programs as well as given to our ecclesia community on a daily basis and made available in printed form to the public free upon request from www.aggressivechristianity.net That's www.aggressivechristianity.net Explosions. This one outside a Starbucks. Rock to the busy part of central Jakarta, an area packed with offices, luxury hotels, and not far from Indonesia's presidential palace. The gruesome aftermath was in places too graphic to show. Suddenly the explosion went off at the police post. This witness said, I saw people running away and two people lying on the ground bleeding. Heavily armed security forces responded and a gun battle broke out, apparently between attackers and police. Indonesian authorities tell us the assailants rode motorbikes and used both grenades and guns. I speak unto thee this day, and I say that time and time and time again, it was me, Galabin God, who did provide for the ones who were mine. Then they scoffed and mocked and made light of the sick. That is, my people were too eager to run after the ways of the heathen, to give tribute unto the demon gods rather than me. And I say, when they did those things, then I say, they became guilty as idolaters before me. And I say, while they scoffed and scorned what it was that I had for them, I say, they took themselves in the way of fools. And I say, they were the ones who were found again and again and again under my anger, my wrath revealed. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, never intended that my own people would be found under my wrath revealed, but I say that I intended that they would walk in the mercies that I provide. That is, may glad to be guided forth, may glad to be uplifted and instructed by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who did intend that my people would walk in the way of newness of life, would walk in the truth the mercy of who I am. But I say when my people reject my provision, reject my mercy, reject my life, I say they are the ones who are literally at war with me. That is, in the sense that they have allowed high mindedness and pride to direct them in a way that I did not intend. Now I say this day that in the days of old that my own people were meant to be finding themselves in me. That is, by coming forth in the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength of who I am. Let us say again and again and again my people were found guilty of eyes full of adultery, and they went a-whoring after the heathen and the ways of the heathen round about. And I say, in so doing, they took themselves out of the truth and the light, the mercy, the strength, and into the darkness that was on every hand. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not intend that men would choose darkness, but I say they do it again and again. And I say it is because they have not learned to abide satisfied in me. But I say they trouble themselves, they invite their sorrows, they bring vexation. And I say it is all because they refuse to yield themselves unto me. And I say that they kindle my wrath, my fury against them because of their lack of submission unto me. Now I say this day you are living in times when men have thought they could re-image me. They could make me to accept their sins, make me to accept their transgressions, their idolatries, and their abominations, and then they thought they could abide satisfied. Oh, what dumb and stupid dull fools they are, for I say they have chosen the way whereby they are liable to receive the wrath, the fury, the indignation that I bring forth. For I say it is a time that I, the living God, am sorely displeased with the sons of men, and I say that I am even more displeased with the ones who claim they are mine. For I say that they use my name in vain because they care only for themselves. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to be caring for self, but I say 
that I've called you to care for me. And I say that I've called you to walk to brighten me and me each day, ever may glad for the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. For I say, when you will look to me, believe upon me and trust me, and be guided forth by me, then I say you are given my light always. And yes, you are given the truth, the strength, and the mercy, for I, the living God, will be ever present to give to you the same. Now I say this day, count it a privilege to keep on trusting, believing, and looking to me, to be being guided forth by me. For I say, when you will continue to look to that which I give, then I say you are guided day by day. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, the mercy, and the hope, for I do give you the same. And I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, blessedness, truth, and hope, and mercy provided. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do call my people, I say they are men to walk in humility, to walk in repentance, to continue to keep seeking me. But I say when a people will throw off my desire to have their own way, I say they become as fools. And I say they are blinded, they are dull, they are dumb, and I say they are found under my wrath revealed. For I say they have chosen a way that I did not intend, nor did I provide. Now I say when men are eager to have their way to do their thing, I say they are proven to be futile, they are proven to be empty, they are proven to be distanced from me. But I say when men will be willing to accept my truth, my light, and my mercy, then I say they are uplifted and directed by me. And yes, they are given the strength and the light, the truth, and the hope, and the peace that I do bring. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is righteousness brought forth. Now I say this day, why not be glad in a wicked, a perverse, a vile generation, that you do not need to be under my war. That is, the war that I, the living God, am bringing forth in these wicked times, as I war against sin, as I war against transgressors, as I war against the ones who have turned to idols and love it so. For I say that I'm disgusted, I'm sorely displeased, and I say that I'm literally angered with those claiming to be mine. And I say it is because they embrace the same idols, the same sins as the heathen and love it so. I say this day when you look upon the condition that men are in, I say they have brought it to themselves. And I say this because of high-minded pride they esteem they are better than they are. That is, they have esteemed that they are some exclusive thing when really they are nothing but fools. And I say because they are fools who are taken in their folly, I say by the same they will be devoured. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be as the foolish, to be as the dull, the dumb, the stupid, who go off in their own way. But I say that I call you to be made glad each day that you can continue to trust, to believe, to hope in me. For I say, when you will be walking in that which I give you time and again, then I say it is by mercy that is revealed unto thee. But I say, when men will walk in unbelief and accusation and doubt and fear, I say they take themselves far from my way. And I say it is because they are choosing to be ruled by demons rather than me. Now I say that I, the living God, have declared it in times that are past, in the days of old, that men who give way to unbelief are giving way to the evil of the saints. For I say, when men will believe in circumstance, will believe in the lies of the liar rather than me, I say they will be damned in the same. And I say that they will be taken in that which I, the living God, did not give unto them, and yes, they will be devoured and destroyed. And I say it is because they are choosing a way of opposition, a way of desolation, a way of damnation of soul. I say this day that I, the living God, do not intend for men to be found under my wrath, my fury, but I say they put themselves there. That is, by continually sporting themselves in their arrogance, their pride, their defiance, their rejection of me. And I say when the ones who are even claiming that they are mine will take on the attributes of pride, will take on the attributes of hatred for my way, I say they are being ruled by demons rather than me. And I say such ones as these will receive my wrath upon them. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk in the understanding that is darkened, but I say that I call you to come forth in the newness of life. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you can be guided by me. That is, in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy, and the blessedness that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give to my own the way wherein they can be kept. 
I say this day that I the living God do not call my people to dwell with iniquity, to partake of darkness, then wipe their mouths and claim they've done no evil. But I say that I call my people to be ever made glad for the privilege to abide in me. That is, to abide in the newness of life, to abide in the truth and the hope and the peace that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who desires that my people would remain ever holy, for I am holy. And it is me, the living God, who desires that my people would cling to me, believe upon me, and be guided forth by me. Now I say this day, why not be glad to continue trusting, believing, and looking to me as the one you are meant to pursue day by day. For I say you are not meant to be subject to demons, to be found under my sore displeasure, and thank you gain from the same. For I say when men give themselves over to idolatry, they give themselves over to the darkness of the same. And I say they give themselves to that which I did not intend, nor did I provide. I say this day, why not be thankful that you can and be uplifted, guided, and directed each day by me. And I say, why not be thankful that it is me, the living God, who directs you in that which you are meant to do. For I say, if you will walk in repentance each day in humility before me, then of course you are guided in life. But I say, when any will go in the way of transgressors, violators, those who are guilty of abomination, I say, of course, they are found at war with me. And I say, it is me, the living God, who will bring them down in my measures of war against them. For I say, it is time that I, the living God, do reveal my wrathful side against the wicked, the vile, the unclean, the corrupt in these darkened times. For I say, if I, the living God, do not bring my judgments, I say that all will perish in sin. For I say that sin is a rampaging, devouring fire that is taking many unto death. And I say, when sin is allowed to burn and men throw themselves into that fire, I say they only kindle more the flames. But I say, when men will stand back from sin and repent of sin, repent of walking in sin, then I say they are able to be made safe in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will pull them into myself, and yes, they will be kept. But I say, when men are persistent and insistent in going in the way of transgression, in going in the way of sin, they are going in the way of destruction. And I say, they are calling to themselves death, they are calling to themselves anguish and sorrow in this life. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will indeed heap upon the ones who are rejecting me exactly what it is that they deserve. That is, I will give unto them the just retribution of their sin. And I say that I will give unto them exactly what they have need of, because they have chosen an opposition to me. That is, they have chosen degradation, they have chosen separation from my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to degradation, but I've called my people to the way of my life. And I say that I've called my people to be thankful that each and every day they are uplifted, guided, and directed by me. And I say that I've called the ones who claim they love me to serve me, to obey me, and be covered by me. But I say that the ones who choose the way of their own understanding are choosing the way of a fool. I say this day there are many who will indeed incur my wrath upon them, for I say that my war has been declared. And I say that it will be brought forth measure by measure upon the fools who want their way. For I say when men will choose their own understanding above the mind of my spirit, they are choosing death. And I say when men will choose to give themselves over to rule by demons, they invite their own sorrows, their own troubles, their own distress. I say this day do not be so dull, so dumb, so stupid as to imagine you can play the fool and get by on me. But I say instead be ever faithful, true, and diligent to accept my way. And I say becoming forth renewed because it is me that you serve. And I say becoming forth uplifted in the way that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteousness, blessedness, truth, and light, and mercy intended. Therefore I say, continue to serve in gladness with rejoicing day by day. And I say, continue to be guided by me, the one true God, who is able to keep you always. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will give to my own the blessedness, the truth, and the light, as they continue in me. But I say that the ones who reject my way, my provision, my mercy, they will be warred against, they will be brought down, and they will be devastated because they choose against me. I say thank me and praise me for the privilege to repent, to choose my way, that you are not bound in wrath. I am your life, but if you will not make me, seal up your soul with tears and never blame. Thank you.
I saw the end of the world. I could feel all this death. 